Hey everybody and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the author of Unprocessed and the Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss and this is where I show you recipes for healthy, permanent and sustainable weight loss. And today is a very special episode because I'm going to show you seven ways to use my new favorite flavor of California balsamic vinegar. Yes, you heard me right. Curry, I love you, but you're now in the number two slot, which means teriyaki. You're in the number three slot, which means sweet heat. You're in the number four slot. I predict that this is going to be the best seller because it is so versatile and it's the only dressing you'll ever need. This is the new seven herb Italian balsamic vinegar. And I want to tell you a little story about how it came to be and also to show you how to shake up the bottle properly and I'm going to give you seven ways to use it other than, of course, as a salad dressing, which really is all you need if you are a person that likes Italian dressing. I remember growing up, we have, I think it was Good Seasons. My mom was, had that packet of seasoning and she'd put it in this little cruet bottle and she'd fill it with oil and vinegar and we'd shake it up. And that's how we had dressing growing up. Well, this tastes a lot better and it tastes like it has oil, sugar, and salt. But Thomas promises me that it doesn't. So here's how it came to be. My husband loves Italian dressing so much. And I really never had a recipe for one. And I've made all kinds of dressings he likes, like the lemon poppy seed and the strawberry fiesta, which I've shown you on this show before. Thomas came to my house once when he was on his way to a festival in Arizona. And I felt guilty confessing that I was buying vinegar from another company because Thomas didn't have a flavor that tasted like Italian dressing. And I said, please taste this and please create one so I can buy it from you. Well, now only did he create one that is just knock your socks off delicious. He did it in conjunction with another one of my favorite small businesses, Local Spicery, Nick and Evelyn. I've had them on the show. And you know, guys, you do get what you pay for. You can go to the 99 cent store, which is great. I do too for certain things, but not for your spices. These spices are organic, non-irritated, made in small batches. And what Thomas did, because they met at my Ultimate Weight Loss Conference in Vegas, is use the best herbs and spices he could from Nicholas to create this amazing dressing. So if you haven't tried it already, please consider trying it. And if you're a regular customer of California Balsamic, you know that anytime you place an order, any size order, you'll get free flat rate shipping no matter what. And you can order two free small samples with my name Chef AJ by putting it in the leave us a message box. You can't just get two free samples just for no reason. You have to place any size order as little as ten dollars. But it's better to place a larger order because the shipping's the same. Now Thomas will ship everywhere but realize if you're out of the United States it's going to be more expensive. And also realize that I have tried my best to make these vinegars on my own. I have tried with the best white and dark balsamics, but I'm not a company and I don't have the large vats and the machines for infusing and they just don't come out as good. What I really like about Thomas's vinegars is that you can see there's a lot of herbs in there. A lot of companies when they make infused vinegars just use flavorings. You can actually see the herbs. So let's get to the seven recipes that you can use them for. But before that, you don't have to do any recipes. It's the best dressing, just ask my husband. Now for those that complain it's expensive, realize that there's ways to use less of it and I'm gonna show you that. Now one of the things I recommend, and maybe you've seen my videos with Corey from the Holland Bowl Mill, is to chop your salad. When you chop your salad, it's easier to eat more salad, it's more delicious. You, I've heard you even increase the nutrients and the polyphenols by the chopping. But here's the thing, I always have chopped salad on hand. This is a combination of all my favorite vegetables, many different kinds of greens, two kinds of cabbage, carrots, cucumbers, and we have this every day. And this is, believe it or not, almost three pounds of salad. Now, if you had three pounds of salad, it would be huge, but by chopping it, it makes it small. But it also makes it so that you end up using less dressing. So if your concern is, well, I love dressing, I'm gonna use so much, chop your salad. Because I'm telling you, when you chop your salad, you can get away with as little as two tablespoons of this dressing and be very, very satisfied. So a little will go a long way because it's flavorful. Even when I do my grain dishes, I don't think I use more than two or three tablespoons because it's so good. But here's a great way to really extend it if money is a concern and you really like the flavor. So one of the things you can do is make a creamy Italian dressing. My mom used to make a homemade creamy Italian dressing growing up and she made it with Miracle Whip and lots of garlic and I'm going to show you how to do it with something else as soon as I can find it right here. There it is. So here we have 
12 ounce bag of steamed cauliflower. It was about four cups before steaming. I just buy the 12 ounce organic bags, but just to get four cups of cauliflower or 12 ounces. And then you steam it. So I just steam it in my little Pampered Chef micro steamer for six minutes in the microwave. And now I'm gonna dump it in the blender. And then I'm going to add, and when you shake it up, Thomas says always go six to nine, six to nine, six, not up and down, six to nine, six to nine. And now I am going to add a quarter of a cup only of this wonderful, gosh, this stuff is so good, I'm not kidding, California balsamic in my blender. I am going to blend. then I have my delicious creamy Italian dressing. You can use this as a dip, as a spread, and it's phenomenal. What I like to do is, of course, we'll take it out of the blender. This is so thick and creamy and so flavorful. You'd swear it has dairy. And what I love about it is a great way to incorporate more vegetables. You know, there's a lot of wonderful vegan recipes for creamy dressings, but generally they use a lot of fat like tofu or nuts or seeds or beans. Not that beans have a lot of fat, but you know, beans are 600 calories a pound. Vegetables are only about 100. And you'll never know that this is made out of cauliflower. It's so good. And what I like to do, believe it or not it's great as a dressing but I like to use it as a dip and I love to dip my little crudite like here's zucchini in there so there we have it there's your first way other than just straight up salad to use the new flavor of California balsamic seven herb Italian dressing now here's another way skewers so what I've done if you remember, some of you may not be old enough, but there used to be recipes all the time in Women's Day and Good Housekeeping for recipes for things that were marinated in Italian dressing, even bottled dressing. It was a very popular flavor for marinating. Well, this is no exception. So what I did is I marinated some vegetables. And this is a lot more than what I started because I didn't use this much vinegar. Again, I only used maybe a quarter cup because as you know, uh, vegetables give up their liquid. So you can get these little skewers at the 99 cent store. And these have been marinating in the California balsamic, and then you just thread them on your skewer. Now, if you have a barbecue grill, so much the better you can grill, I don't. So I'm just going to put them in the oven, or I can put them in the air fryer, doesn't matter. You just decide how you wanna cook it. And this is these are really fun and delicious. You just try to change up the color a little bit. And then you can make these yummy skewers, but they have been marinating in this delicious dressing that has no sugar, no oil, no salt. I, I mean, I, you can ask Thomas, and you know when I say you can ask Thomas, you really can because he is, the, a customer service at California Balsamic is unparalleled. He answers the phone. Be ready to chat because he's an interesting guy and you're gonna love talking to him. And I, I really, I text him every time I eat him, I'm like, are you sure there's no sugar, oil, salt in here? And he promises me there isn't. And of course you can use any vegetable you like for these but these are really fun. I like to start and stop with a mushroom. I'm just gonna put them on my tray. I could, probably could have used the shorter skewer or spread it out more, but you never know. These are so fun to make. And a very, very beautiful presentation if you have company. You believe it or not, you can buy these already made at Trader Joe's now with nothing on them. Uh, I'll be having a video coming out very soon. They allowed me, they were so kind to film at Trader Joe's. You know what would have been good on here, guys, and I didn't think about was those little zucchini slices I just showed you. Those would have been great on here. Why didn't I put those on? I was just trying to be fancy and get the different colors on. Onion is all, oh here, here's a piece of zucchini. I did put one in, but not very much. <laughs> So we'll just make these little skewers, one for me, one for Charles, and of course that's not all we'll eat. There's gonna be a lot of starch with the meal, you can rest assured. And this mushroom fell apart, but that's okay. So we'll put those skewers on. 
And that's recipe number two. Grill it, air fry it, however you're going to cook it, but it has marinated overnight in the California balsamic. Now, the other thing you can do is make roasted chickpeas. I took a can of salt-free chickpeas, rinsed and drained them, and I added a quarter cup of California balsamic, seven herb Italian, and overnight it pretty much, I'm gonna put it on the same tray and put it in the same oven. I'm just, it, it pretty much absorbed all of the liquid. And so now I'm just gonna put this in my air fryer. I'm not gonna put it on the air fryer setting. And there's a little bit of liquid here, but that's okay because these taste the same. So then I'm gonna end up with some crunchy, yeah, I'm gonna air fry it, I decided. A lot of you have asked me, please write an air fryer book. There's already great ones out there by J.L. Fields and Kathy Hester, my friends. I just put everything at 420 minutes and hope for the best. That's really, really how I roll. Okay, so now, how about some grilled portobello mushrooms? I don't have a grill, but many people do have barbecue grills. I do have this grill pan from Pamper Chef from when, back in the day when I was a representative. So what I did is I took some portobello mushrooms and I marinated them and about a half a cup of California balsamic. Now, you can see this liquid is brown. That is because mushrooms give up their liquid. So I'm not gonna be saving this broth, but I am gonna be draining it as soon as I can find my drainer. Here we are, my drainer, I mean my strainer. So I'm gonna just drain this extra liquid out, which is a combination of the California balsamic and the liquid from the mushrooms. Whoops, I'm just gonna put this in my grill pan. Oh wow, I mean, I, I served these, uh, to my husband he thought he was eating steak, it's that good. Now these are the, this is, these are the herbs, so I'm not gonna throw these away, I'm just gonna put these back on top. And I'll be right back, I'm gonna put these on the oven while I go for the next recipe. What I love about this pan is I can just put my little thing over the top. You don't have to follow me because I'm coming right back. So I've just got that grill pan growing while I can get on to the next recipe. How many was that? Let's see, what did we do? We did the creamy Italian, we did the skewers, we did the roasted chickpeas, we did the portobello mushrooms, and now we're going to do a pasta salad. Why do I think that there was gonna be six? What, why did I say so? Oh, ha ha, the four bean salad, of course. We'll do that before the pasta salad. Okay, so now there's two bean salad, three bean salad, four bean salad, five bean salad. You can even do one bean salad because I promise you this dressing is so good, you can just use it like I did with the chickpeas, even if you don't roast them or air fry them, I promise you it would be absolutely delicious. Oops, forgot another recipe I was gonna do. So maybe it's gonna be eight. I've been really thinking ways to use this vinegar. So traditional three bean salad, four bean salad has three or four beans. So we're gonna do a four bean salad and the beans we're using are kidney beans, cannellini beans, garbanzo beans, and green beans. For the green beans, I just used half a bag of the organic green beans from Trader Joe's, and we're going to put them all together in a bowl. This would be great for picnics, parties, potlucks, the three peas, and we are going to add some onion. I love to use this little machine probably seen me use it before, the Vidalia Chop Wizard. Again, I, I'll, I don't know how much I'll put in. Maybe let's start with, whoops, start with a third of the onion. Always depends on how strong an onion is, how much I put in. But again, this vinegar is so flavorful. It's not just a dressing, it's a marinade. You really don't need a lot of other stuff in your recipe, and I promise you're gonna like it. So I can't promise that. I promise I'm gonna like it. So I'm just gonna chop up some red onion. You know, I thought, well, gosh, maybe I should add this herb or that herb to the three bean salad, but, or the four bean salad in this case, but with this vinegar, guys, it's so flavorful. It really is the last dressing and last marinade you are going to need. So I'm gonna put this up. Again, and really it's as much or as little onion as you want. 
and then I'm going to add, let's see how much, let's say half a cup, perfect. California balsamic, add it there, stir it up. Look how beautiful that is. And it glistens as if it really did have oil in it. Ah, this is a really strong onion because it's really, really uh, making my eyes water. So I'm glad I didn't add more than about a third of the onion. And you could add a little parsley just, you know, just for color. And there you have it, a delicious, delicious four bean salad. All right, so now let's see what I can do here. How about a pasta salad? Why not? So what we're gonna do is we're going to start with the pasta. And I have pre-cooked a brown rice gluten-free pasta that had only one ingredient, brown rice. And I'm gonna put this in my bigger bowl. And I'm going to use my hands, which are clean, to spread this out. I used to make an amazing pasta salad when I ate oil, but now we don't need oil because we have a delicious vinegar that tastes like it has oil. So we've got the pasta, and we're going to add a bag of artichoke hearts, frozen and defrosted. And you can leave them whole, or sometimes I just cut them up a little because artichoke hearts are so good, you might want them in more of your piece. Now, if for some reason you didn't like artichokes or couldn't get them, you can get them at Trader Joe's and Whole Foods frozen without any salt. Uh, the ones in cans generally have salt, so I'd recommend rinsing them. But if you can't find them, then you could also substitute some steamed broccoli. I would do the same thing in my little Pampered Chef steamer, cook it for six minutes. So just, you gotta excuse me for one second. We're doing this live as it, well not live, but we're doing it as a straight through. So I do need to check those grilled mushrooms just to make sure if it's time to flip them. We'll show you what that looks like. And I forgot to grab my sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm gonna add my one bag of sun-dried tomatoes. That's three ounce. It's about three quarters of a cup. And my basil. So you can see, it's grilling up nicely, and I'm gonna wanna flip them. Oh wow, these are amazing over mashed potatoes or rice. Now I also have a little tool from Tupperware that actually grills these in the microwave. But those of you that have outdoor grills, that's what I recommend. So I'm gonna, you can see the liquid is being released, and I'm gonna just put this back on top, and then go back to my pasta salad. And then I'm going to add some fresh basil. You can add as much as you want. I really love these little herb scissors that Sharon McRae gave me because it just cuts them so nicely and it makes it very easy. And again, I'm telling you, you don't have to worry about making sauces. You've got the most delicious marinade here. You could add, I was thinking of actually putting some roasted garlic in the air fryer and adding some uh, roasted garlic cloves to it. That's another idea, that's an option. I just forgot to do that, but this will be so good because the, the vinegar is so good. And I'm hoping to get Nick DeVoren on my daily live show. If you're not familiar, every day I go live at 11 a.m. Pacific time, and I interview interesting people. Often they're doing cooking demos, and I'd love for him to do something with his amazing spices. So again, with fresh herbs, it's as much as you want or as little as you want. And now I want to show you, it's really important how you open this bottle of vinegar because after it's been shipped, it's very, very possible that the herbs will get all kind of stuck in top, and so you've got to get that out. I'm going to show you how to do that in just one second. So that looks pretty good. Let's see. Get this beautiful bean salad. So I'm just going to stir this up. And again, broccoli would be an amazing substitution for the artichokes just because broccoli is so bright green. I am going to add more of this just mainly because I want the color. I really couldn't decide between broccoli and artichokes. And it, you could use fresh cherry tomatoes cut in half if you didn't want to use the sun-dried tomatoes for some reason, but the sun-dried tomatoes just give such a depth of flavor because sun-dried tomatoes, it takes about four pounds of tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, to make this uh, uh, 
three ounce bags. So it, they're just a very concentrated flavor, especially great for people that for whatever reason are not eating salt. So there we have it. So now we're just gonna have to add our delicious vinegar. So let me show you how to open this. When you get the bottle, you can see that a lot of the herbs are on the bottom and there's actually a plug of herbs on the top. So what you're going to do is you're gonna open it And then I recommend taking a toothpick, or well, this isn't a toothpick, this is a chopstick. You would do the same thing with the other flavors that have herbs on top, like curry or dill mustard, because remember, these are real herbs. So you, so you wanna kinda break up the plug. Now, you, you only gonna have to do this the first time when you get it. And so you break up the plug, and you can use the, like the skewer I showed you from the 99 cent store. So now that I've got the plug broken up, now I'm going to shake it. The only thing, Thomas, my only complaint is you don't make big enough bottles because I need gallons. So back and forth, six to nine. Boom, boom, doom, doom, doom. That's how quick this was. I need my glove, that's really hot. I wasn't even there standing there and they still got done thanks to this really cool tool that I have. And these would be great if you eat bread as a sandwich. But again, over garlic roasted mashed potatoes, you think you are eating the most gourmet food from a restaurant when you marinate in the California balsamic. Oh, these, these are so meaty and so flavorful. So there you have the beautiful mushrooms. Let's see what's going on in our air fryer with our skewers. Look at that. Oh, these are starting to look amazing. And we can see our little chickpeas are getting roasted. So we'll come back to those in a little bit. So again, just a half a cup is needed. Put it in because it is so flavorful. Many of the recipes I try to use only a quarter cup. And again, you can use less. You can also use more. And again, this will probably be better if it marinates a little bit, chilling in the fridge. But can you imagine when we get to the point where we can have parties, picnics, and potlucks again, serving this, people will not know it's healthy and sugar, oil, salt-free. Now, if you do nuts, I recommend putting in maybe a quarter cup, half a cup of pine nuts in this would be absolutely delicious. But look at these beautiful salads and look at how they glisten as if they had oil. I mean, how can you decide which one? So there is six recipes, but let me show you a seventh that I recommend using this vinegar. So I recommend making marinated onions. Now I showed you this before using a red onion and using a different flavor vinegar, but for some reason this lends itself really well to a white onion, a sweet onion, excuse me. And so marinated onions are delicious to have, whether you put them on a bean burger or just putting them every day on your salad like I do. And it's really delicious to do that. And I, I, they, it's just so great because here's the thing, you can reuse the vinegar over and over and over till it's all used up. So I probably could have peeled this in advance. I didn't, but we've got our sweet onion which is one of my favorites. I, I've always liked red onion too, but sometimes they're so, so strong. But sweet onions are what I use in my cauliflower bisque and I love them. And then I have my trusty mandolin from Tupperware and I'm gonna put it on the, on the, the thinnest setting so I can get the thinnest onion possible. And then I'm going to be really careful. You gotta use the grate, but I'm getting, I'm far enough away now that I'm not using the grate. Oops, okay, there we go. Where's my little grate, there we go. Or use a mandolin glove. And so I am just slicing these onions as thin as I possibly can. The chefs at True North don't even use a grate or a glove, I worry about them. I've seen Two chefs now cut their thumbs off in front of me. Not the whole thumb, but the tip. Very scary. Huh, excuse me for crying. I'm crying tears of joy because I waited so long, Thomas, for you to release this flavor. Ah, 
I'm actually crying because this onion is very, very strong. But it will be tempered by the California balsamic. So there we have it. So now we have our onion. And then let's put in, oh, excuse me for crying, but what can I do? Another half a cup. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Who knew you could cry over vinegar? And then we will just mix it up. And then we'll keep it in the refrigerator. And this will just be the most delicious topping for everything starting tomorrow. Look at this, guys. And it didn't take long at all. Look at how many, seven recipes using California balsamic. Let me go grab some of the chickpeas and show you what they look like. There we have our delicious roasted chickpeas. Once these cool, these will be super crunchy and these will be like croutons for your salad. So there you have it. Thank you, Thomas and Ethel for creating such an amazing, delicious SOS free product. This is, this is really my favorite and this is the only Italian dressing you'll ever need. I'd love for you to try it. Let me know if you like it and I'd love for you to try one of the seven recipes and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ and thanks to Thomas and Nicholas for making Healthy Made Delicious. We can all have the health and the body we so richly deserve. Take care everyone.